So if you could start by telling us the organization you're affiliated with. I'm Suez Jacobson and I teach at Regis University in Denver, Colorado. Um, what do you see as challenges in the field of sustainable consumption? There are a lot of challenges. I mean, most people won't even talk about consumption in terms of reducing consumption. Most people talk about solving these problems with technology, and I don't believe that technology is the solution. I think that we need to begin talking about how we reduce our consumption and how we frame that in terms of actually higher well-being instead of lower well-being because there are dozens of psychological studies that show that more is not better for the psychological health of, of people and certainly not for the environmental health of the planet. Great. And so what is your research or teaching field? What do you do? Well, I'm trained as an economist, but I teach a course called Consumption, Contentment, and Climate Change. And I try to link economics and wilderness and climate change by arguing that fundamentally our economic system of more and more consumption is driving climate change, but that wilderness experience can reframe our mental paradigms and cause us to reconsider our role as consumers in our economy. That's fascinating. How do people respond to that? Well, I have my students do a consumption challenge last semester, and everybody chose something individually to reduce their carbon footprints. And the outcome was really amazing, because if you choose one thing, it seems like you start thinking about other things. You give up plastic bottles, and then pretty soon you're turning off your electronics, and then maybe you're not even eating meat one day a week. So it's a very, um, seems to spiral in a very good way. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome.